Hey guys, it's Savannah here, back again with another deck review. This deck right here is the Ignite Playing Cards by Illusionist, so let's get right on into the review. As you can check out the actual whole deck box, you'll notice that it's very bright red and it has a lot of flame and fire qualities to the box itself. If you take a look at the front of the box, it's a big and large spade made of flames and all kinds of cool stuff on the front. It has a kind of worn or dirty background and makes it look rustic and used. It says ignite real big in the middle and it says find playing cards at the bottom There's nothing but the actual um, image of the tuck box itself on either of the sides on the bottom There's some copyright information and the illusionist symbol on the top It says ignite and through over the entire tuck box the design is continued onto all the sides And then we get a glimpse of the back design which we'll get more into once we get inside the cards The design of the deck is also continued onto the flaps here as well So off the bat we'll take a look at the back design the back design is really awesome Awesome. It's worn and it looks used by the way the tuck box looks. It's got a lot of flame, fire imagery all throughout it, swirls and patterns, and Illusionist definitely killed it with the look of this overall um, back of the deck and the deck box. As you guys might know, this deck is the second deck in the Origin series. The Fathom deck that Illusionist put out earlier is the first deck in that series, and you'll definitely be able to tell some similarities, and you should already be able to tell some similarities from the back design and once we could take a look at the faces of the cards, you'll definitely see that. So next we have the two jokers. It's a picture of a silhouette of a woman and the hair is kind of outlined and shadowed. One card in black and one card in bright red-ish orange color, um, like the box itself. It's definitely really different and something I didn't expect opening the actual deck box itself, but I think it's kind of refreshing. It's definitely really cool. It's interesting. It's I've never seen a Joker that looks like that before, and I definitely think that's pretty cool for Illusionist. And both Jokers are exactly the same, except for the differences in hair color. The deck also comes with two promo cards. Um, one about game night. Illusionist is trying to appeal to people who aren't magicians or card collectors, trying to pe get people to buy um, cards to play games with. And then... Another one, just a promo card, be different, stand out. Next, we'll take a look at the Ace of Spades right here. Um, this spade is the same spade that is on the front of the box. It's just enlarged. Um, you can see that there's fiery imagery throughout it. It swirls in all types of patterns. It definitely goes well with the overall theme of the deck, and I really like that about it. I think it looks really cool. And it's a really nice looking ace, and like I said, it definitely goes with the overall theme. And I think Illusionist definitely killed it with the deck box, the back design, and this ace. It all looks really good. Next, we'll have a look at the court cards. We have the king, the queen, and the jack of spades right here. And this is one of the big similarities between the Fathom deck and this deck. These are 100% custom court cards, and they kind of have like a bubble pattern throughout the court card itself, if you'll notice that the round shape of the overall court card and kind of the bubbly pattern that comes off of them. I really don't think it fits so much with this deck as it does with the Fathom deck because the Fathom deck is more of a water-based deck and this is a fire-based deck. So I would have thought that instead of just the color change being fiery, I would think that the overall maybe some curved edges to look like flames instead of the circular pattern that they have on the Fathom deck, which kind of goes with water, you would think they would have something more towards fire with these. I think they look nice and they make the Fathom deck and the Ignite deck come together as a whole to be kind of a set in the Origin series, but I think they should have made these a little bit more of a fiery imagery instead of the circular bubbly imagery that they use with the Fathom deck. All the court cards have the same coloring and the same bubbly imagery. They all pretty much look the same as these three. Another cool thing that uh, this deck and the Origin series has is that one symbol on each of the cards will have a different kind of design on it. And in this case, it's like a flame design. And that definitely looks really cool. And it really fits well with the overall design. I think this deck looks great from the back design to the box to um, some of the features on the inside of the cards. My really biggest complaint about the overall look of the deck is that they maybe should have made the court cards not so much circular bubbly imagery like in the Fathom deck. They should have made them more fiery apart from the color change to match up with this deck. It would have made them look a little bit better. I think this deck handles well. Um, it does kind of clump after a few hours of use. 
um, if your hands tend to get hot and sweaty. Um, but you can just put it up for a few hours and it comes back out just good as new. It looks great in a fan, um, but another issue though with uh, the cards themselves is when you do Faro, since it's not, um, it's a borderless design, the cards will chip and they'll kind of degrade a little bit. And you can kind of see that on camera if you take a close look. When you Faro or just mess with the cards, um, they'll start to chip and degrade a little bit. But it's not really the biggest deal in the world because it's kind of expected because these are borderless cards. I really applaud this deck for being 100% custom from the pips to the symbols to everything else. It definitely fits well with the Fathom deck going from the Fathom to the Ignite deck showing opposites from water to fire. But like I said, I think the court cards should be fit more to the fire design instead of the feel that the Fathom deck came off. So this overall deck, I would have to give it a four out of five. I really like the stock of this deck. It handles really well. Um, it works well with the finish, even though it does start to clump after a few hours. The stock is kind of that happy median. However, when you ferro it, you have to be aware of the degrading because it's a borderless back design. So the stock of this deck, I would have to give a four out of five. Now, the look of this deck, I think Illusionist killed it with the back design. I think the back design looks so great. Um, it definitely fits with the deck. And like the um, box itself looks great. And the fiery imagery on the symbols of the cards on the inside definitely looks great. However, I wish that the court cards, as I said before, would have been a little bit more custom and made for this deck, maybe with the fiery imagery instead of the bubbly imagery that you see on the Fathom deck. And if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, click right here to go check out the Fathom deck and you'll definitely be able to compare the designs to the two decks. So the overall look of this deck, I would have to give a 3.5 out of 5. Now the handling and feel of this deck, I think it's it handles really nicely. It does start to clump after a few hours, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. You can just put the deck away and get it out later. But I actually quite enjoy this deck. It's nice to handle and it's nice to play around with, and I really like that about it. So the handling and feel of this deck, I would have to give a four out of five. So thank you guys so much for watching my Ignite deck review by Illusionist. I just wanna say heads up, if you guys liked the montage video I put out on my channel to be the channel header, that was made by Luca and Ashley, uh, Luca Shepard and Ashley Acton. Ashley is the cardist over there, so their links will be down below, Luca and Ashley's links, for you to check out. I just wanted to say thank you for them hooking me up with that awesome montage. I definitely really like the montage and it was a great addition to my channel. And I thank them, so definitely go check their links out down below. My links are also down below if you'd like to check them out, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. Thank you again for watching and I'll be back with a new video real soon for all of you guys, so please stay tuned. I love each and every one of you and I'll see you guys next time.